before the video starts we are fine in terms of the car wreck i know that's in the title i mentioned it a little bit later into the video in case you guys don't watch further in but i do talk about the car wreck later in the video so if you guys are interested in hearing that story it's a little bit later after i show you the stuff but anyways here's the video as i filmed it it was just kind of crazy i just got home so enjoy the video Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. I'm back from my almost annual Black Friday video where I basically show you guys what I got on Black Friday. I got some a good variety of stuff. Unfortunately, I only got one game. Usually I get a couple per year in terms of Black Friday deals, but I only got one. Bunch of Blu-rays, a couple of movies, a couple of, uh, I think it's mostly just movies and TV shows here. Unfortunately, I don't know what was going on with that because usually they have good deals on TV show seasons and all that kind of stuff for Black Friday, but they didn't and also books because I'm getting into reading more, so all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go through this in this order. Game all the Blu-rays, and then books. And I will talk about something a little bit later in the video in terms of a car wreck that I was involved with with me, my wife, the ghost, and my mom. It literally came at the worst possible time ever because we were just talking about car wrecks, and then we got hit, but I'll talk about it in a little bit. So let's get through all this stuff first, and I'll talk about that because it's a whole thing. We're, we're fine. Don't worry. <laughs> we are okay. Do not worry. We are fine. Um, it was just really you know, scary. And we were just kind of like, what in our eyes open and freaking out? Like really? And the woman was saying, you know, all this stuff about it. don't call the cops. But anyways, we'll talk about that in a minute. So here we go. First game up. I've been talking about this for a while in terms of I wanted to get this game. Ghost of Tsushima. Now, I was about to get the PS4 version, but I'm like, no, I'll get the PS5 version. And it's the director's cut. So I decided to get that. Um, it was a pretty, I don't know how much of a sell it was, but I'm like, I'm going to pick it up. It's PS5. I'm going to get it. And unfortunately, that's the only game I got. I wanted to get more, but unfortunately, there wasn't really, you know, much more of offers in terms of good deals, in my personal opinion. So here's all the Blu-rays. We're going to go randomly in order here. F9. The film is not the best, but me and the ghost, uh, the wife, of course, went and saw it. And uh, we overall thought it was uh, pretty solid in terms of a crazy uh, film in the Fast Saga. And they're getting more and more crazier, so it is what it is. Venom. I do not own on Blu-ray. Decided to pick up Venom. Pretty good deal there. Got Venom. Um, we love Disney, so we got Frozen on Blu-ray. I'm pretty sure we we may or may not have this. I'm not sure. But also, we have Disney+, Plus, so we have a lot of this stuff in terms of stuff we can watch on there. But just in the case of internet or whatever, because sometimes internet may go out. So there's that. Raya and the Last Dragon. This is a film that uh, we saw, I think, on Disney Plus Premier Access. We did pay and actually watch it on Premier Access because back then, I don't think theaters were open as much as they are now. But we watched it and uh, we thought it was pretty solid. So we just had to pick up the Blu ray. So, yeah, pretty good stuff. And I like the, uh, the cover art there. In the Heights. This is more of a film for her. She was going to watch this on HBO Max when it was available for that first 30 days, but she uh, didn't get around to watching it. So we got it for her to check out. And uh, we have to have this. Christmas Special Collection. It's five films in one, all on Blu-ray there. Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Frosty the Snowman, of course. Santa Claus is coming to town. The Little Drummer Boy. And I've not heard of this before. Cricket and the Hearth. I've never heard of that. It's not even featured on the thing here. It's just the three main ones that everybody uh, loves. So we decided to get this. And on top of that, we also got the Peanuts Holiday Collection, which collects... Uh, the, the most famous ones, at least. The Great Pumpkin Charlie... It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. A Charlie Brown Christmas. We watched the Thanksgiving one yesterday, of course, during uh, Thanksgiving. So, that's pretty cool. We decided to pick that up. And this is... Uh, she's ex she excited for this. We finally got the more... Uh, more uh, well, well, recent release of the animated Grinch. She wanted to pick that up. And she, she was surprised we didn't have this on Blu-ray, which was, of course, Jim Carrey's. Grinch. I'm obviously having to move it around because of the glare. <laughs> Apologies. And the last one we picked up in terms of Blu-ray is a little film that people like to talk about in terms of they're not the biggest fan of it. Wonder Woman 1984. We decided to pick it up just to have it. Um, honestly, I I'm fine with the film. It definitely could be a lot better in my personal opinion, but it is what it is. So, book time. Book, book time. This is pretty cool. This is the Guitar Chord Bible, $10, quite surprised with that, and uh, just opening up random, random here to G major, they show you the finger positions of your chords and what fingers to use, and I'm like, okay, because see, I don't play guitar as much as I would like, because I also need to clean my guitar and get new strings, but when I saw this and saw how easy it was to learn new chords, it's really going to be interesting to kind of go through this book and trying to learn new chords, so I definitely wanted to pick that up, so there's that. I'm excited for this here. Um, let me pull out these last two books here. Hold on one second. Because I have more than two, but you get my point. So I finally got the last two books in Frank Herbert's 
Dune series that he personally wrote, which this is the book five, Heretics of Dune and Chapter House Dune, the last book he wrote. I believe this is the last one he wrote in terms of the Dune series. And I know from this point on, because I have the first four already, um, I know that after this point, uh, there's another writer along with his son that has been putting out other Dune books, prequels and sequels and all that kind of stuff, and just other uh, books in the franchise or in the world of Dune. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to read past this point, but I'm, I'm now I'm excited to have all six of what Frank wrote, so I'm excited to get into that. We have this book here. I, I've looked at it before. It's Captain Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel, but uh, Liberation Run. So I got that. Um, an original offer from Tess Sharp. Yes. Apologies for that. That was my wife. She is currently filing the claim uh, with the insurance company about the wreck. So we have two more books to go here. Now this was a pretty cool, a good deal because this was a special. Um, these like really, uh, really intricate and really like beautiful, uh, binding, like I forget what they, like leatherback books or whatever that they had at Barnes and Noble and the sale was, um, the sale was $25 or up for one of these, these here, cause I want to show you this one, the foundation trilogy, which is a series, I think, I believe on Apple, I watched the trailer for it. Um, and so it was $25 or up in terms of one of these books and you get another one for half price. So I decided to get up the, there's the only one, I think like they had a couple of these left, but, uh, they had the foundation trilogy, which as you can see here is a very, sorry about the glare guys, very beautiful cover, very beautiful. And it's got gold pages. Uh, it's just on the binding of the page. It's not the actual page. It's not gold. And this really, and it tells you the books in the back. And the and the one I got for half price. One second. This is the only, this is the only one they had left. It is a Star Wars Legends trilogy. It's the Han Solo trilogy Legends. It's a very nice cover there. Very nice Legends. And the back is Boba and Jabba. It's very nice. And then the binding there, you see, you see, you see Han and Chewie. And then, yeah. So that's all the stuff I got in terms of Black Friday. Now let's get into this car wreck situation. So to the car wreck. So what had happened was me, mom, and the wife, ghost, we were heading to go get lunch. And we were at a stoplight. And there was a bunch of traffic around us. So we were assuming that all cars were stopped and that maybe somebody hit somebody else and then they hit us. This woman was pulling up behind us and she claims her foot slipped off the brake and hit us. Pretty hard to move the car. We all jerked. Thankfully, we weren't hurt or the airbags didn't go off or anything like that. I literally looked at the ghost who's sitting in the passenger seat. I was driving. My mom was behind in the, in the back seat. Um, and I literally just made sure everybody, and then I jumped out of the car. I'm surprised I didn't jump out of the car screaming and cursing and what the fuck at this woman. But I said, what's going on here? What is going on here? Like I didn't, I, I was trying to process it while it was happening. So obviously you can't determine how you're going to respond in that moment. But I was surprised I didn't get out screaming and, and motherfucking this woman. Like what the fuck are you doing? Because she literally, there were, we were stopped at the stoplight for at least 10 to 15 seconds and she slammed into us. So I don't know how that was possible. I, I noticed right away that there was no damage in the car that I could see. We go, we pull into a bank. Surprisingly, the woman, she didn't want it, the, the cops called at all. She didn't know what the cops called out. Like, Please don't call the cops. Because there wasn't really any damage that we could see on our side in terms of the Jeep. Because we have a Jeep Wrangler. Or Jeep Cherokee, sorry. And we pull into the bank that was right next to where we, where we got hit. She waited. And as we were looking, there's these four little dots on our bumper, on the back bumper of the car, one of those was pushed in to the vehicle. And then we find out later that that is a sensor that's a part of the backing up assist because when you back up, we have a screen on our Jeep that shows a camera. And that camera helps us, of course, see behind us directly. Also, you, you look obviously around yourself, but that camera helps you to back up. And there's sensors to help with parking, uh, well, backing assist in terms of sensing if anything's around you to kind of stop. And there's an, there's an assist uh, thing on the car you can turn off and on depending on uh, you know if you need it or not we're able to break for you if it thinks you're getting too close to something and you're not stopping the vehicle it's going to stop for you well that sensor is now broke <laughs> like that sensor being pushed in my stepdad went in and pushed the sensor back in to where it needs to go but it wasn't fully clicking but the the, the sensor still messed up and we cannot see the car cannot be seen by the dealership that we that sold us until about a month from now december 23rd the cops showed up, of course. I'm jumping all over the place. Apologies. But the cops showed up, 
and did not file a report because the cops said, well, in, in the state of where we live, <laughs> there is, um, if it's not up to a certain amount in terms of damages on your vehicle or someone is not hurt or injured, we it, there's no filing. You can file it with your insurance company, but we don't file it with the state. So there is no police report of it. We made the phone call. We have proof of a phone call. They transferred from 911 to the police department in our area, and they got there pretty quick. But the guy literally just looked at both vehicles, and we got her information. I took a picture of her license plate because at the time when I took the picture, we were still at the we were still at the light to go, and we're right in front of we're right in front of a mall that we were at earlier that day. So there's a lot of traffic, and they're moving they're having to move around us at the time until we moved off the road, obviously. But like, like. She turned to me, my wife, and said, go take a picture of her, of her license because like, she's on the phone with, uh, with the police department saying, move over to this bank over here, get off the road, you know, so we're out, out of people's way. Well, she said, go take a picture of her license because we thought that she was going to just go because she didn't want the cops called at all. But she went and waited. She kept giving excuses. Uh, the cop, for, uh, for some reason, did not ask for my license or this woman's license. And the woman was like saying, my foot slipped off the brakes. And you would think with the person who actually caused the wreck... You would check their license to verify that they're up to date. Um, I don't know. He didn't ask for mine either or whatever. He asked for a registration to confirm that. And we got her information in terms of her phone number and her insurance information. She didn't want ours. She didn't have a phone. <laughs> she didn't want to write any of it down because he's like, wait, do you have a phone? She's like, no. Because he's like waiting for her to take the information from us, even though we're not paying for it because she caused the accident. We were sitting still at a light where we're supposed to. We're at the front of the light, by the way. And she slams into us. So we didn't do anything wrong. So she, he's like, okay, so do you want to write down their information? She's like, no. Okay. Because she didn't want them called at all. So I don't know. It's a whole mess. But as in the middle of the video, she had to go outside. She was in the bedroom making the call. She's going out there to give all the information basically and go from there in terms of what's going to happen. Um, it's, it's, it shook us up pretty, uh, pretty good. <laughs> we, we went to lunch after that. We ate and everything. We were discussing it. And yeah, um, and at the time, uh, the ghost, I'm gonna say her name. <laughs> People mostly know her name, but still, the ghost was drinking coffee and it spilled. And she spilled on her shirt. It actually hit me in the face. It wasn't like hot or anything, but it, uh, some of it smacked me in the face because she was drinking it while we got hit, or at least she had it in her hand. So it went, you know, crazy. So we didn't even notice till like 30, 30 minutes later, something like that. There was some coffee on my face because it had splashed. But yeah, so it was a pretty crazy day. We got, I, I, overall, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what I got. I wish I would have gotten more stuff, but it is what it is. Some of the some of the stores weren't having certain Black Friday deals like they usually do. But anyways, that's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Did you guys go on Black Friday shopping? Did you guys get any cool things? And if so, let me know in the comments below what you got, guys. And it, 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 we're fine. We are fine, guys. No worries. And uh, hopefully you guys didn't have any wrecks like we did or, you know, issues like that. So anyways, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.